Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a file in C++ and write in this text file in C++. So there are three classes in C++ which you can use to input and output characters into a text file. And these three files are first is called OFStream which is a class which you can use to write on a file. Second class is called ifstream, which you can use to read from a file. And third class is called fstream, which you can use to read and write from a file or to the file. So we are going to use this third uh, class, which is fstream. Okay. So what we are going to do, first of all, we need to include this fstream class into our project. So just include this f stream into your project now in order to create a file we already know that we need to use this class called of stream so just take of stream in order to create a text file and first of all we will create an instance of this of stream for example i can name my instance as my file or simply file it depends upon you what name you want to give to your instance now in order to create a file you just need to take this instance then dot and you need to call the inbuilt function called open which takes constant character string as an argument and which we will give as the name of the text file so for example i can say my text dot txt will be the name of my file and whenever you open your file or create a file you just need to close it in order to you know safely close your file so Always remember whenever you open a file, you need to close it. This is a rule of thumb. And it doesn't take any argument. Okay. I will compile my program. Uh, it compiles successfully. And what I need to do is I will go to my project folder. So this is my project folder. And it will... Uh, contain my project file and a folder called bin which contains the binary file in this bin there will be a debug folder if you are in debug mode or a release folder if you are in release mode so i'm in debug mode so this will be the folder where my executable file resides and this is my executable file and watch carefully what happens when I run this program for, from here. And I have used stdcin.get to pause the screen. Otherwise, screen will disappear as soon as uh, it's, uh, go, it goes out of scope. So I, will, I have included this intentionally to pause the screen. Okay. So I will go to the executable file in the folder. And I will just double click it and it doesn't output anything to the terminal but you can see it has created a file called text file which is blank right now so it's blank right now right once again I will delete this my text dot text file and I will run it once again and watch carefully here double click and it has created a text file here okay now once you have created a text file, you can write into the text file simply by copying the instance of this and between open and close functions, you just need to insert some text. So just take the instance called file and just use this uh, brackets or triangular brackets or whatever you want to say there and then you ju can just give your uh, string or sentence here so this is my 
first text file and in order to change the line you just need this backslash and n and this backslash and n will change your line on which you are working on so for example i want to create some other line i can just copy it copy it and copy it so then i will be having four lines uh, one below another if i use this slash n so let's see what happens if i don't use this slash n and i will just use one line one two three and four and i will compile my program and i will go to the folder where my binary is once again once again i will check there is no text in this text file right now i'm going to run this file so i will run this double click it and it runs and now i'm going to open my text file once again and you can see it has my text but this text is in one line and it's not changing the line which i want right so in order to change the line you just need this backslash once again and and so this backslash uh, n will change your line this simply means next line okay compile your program and i will run it once again and open my text file once again and now i have four lines one below another right now in this way you can create a file and write into the file but generally there is a one more good practice people uh, use which is this one so whenever you open your file always check if the file is open and then perform some activity on that file so just use if and then just check the condition if this file dot just call is open is underscore open and this is a function which returns a boolean value true or false and if the file is uh, open it returns true or if uh, the file is closed it returns false so always check whether your file is open then only perform some action to this file okay so it's a good practice to check whether this file is open first and then perform some activity and there is one more thing you don't need even need to use this extra line to create a file which is file dot open this will uh, this is uh, of course more explanatory as a code but in order to create a file you can just uh, create it with the creation of instance you don't even need this file this line in order to create the file so this will work fine and it will create a uh, file and it will uh, write the text file once again uh, text in it once again so what i'm going to do i'm going to compile this go to the folder i will delete this file once again and i will run it once again and terminal is not showing anything because we are not printing anything to the terminal but we are creating this text file right i'll open this text file once again it has the same text but these are the some good practice always check whether your file is open and then perform the action on this file always okay and it's better to you know include this close code inside your if condition so that as soon as the writing into the file is complete it flushes all the you know all the file streams and it flushes all the uh, characters in this file 
So in this way you can create a text file using C++ and write in it. In the next video maybe I will show you how you can read from a text file. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.